Hello, Dar Payment from DarPayment.com here to share with you an oracle card spread that's designed to help you tune into your life purpose with your angel's help. You know, as an intuitive life coach and professional angel intuitive, one of the most common readings my clients request are life purpose readings. So with the angel's help, I designed a simple five card uh, life purpose spread that will help provide my clients with the clarity and confidence that they need to discover and move into their life purpose. And this is the same spread that I'm going to share with you in this video. Plus, if you haven't seen it in the description link below, there's a couple links to where you can download a free uh, PDF of the spread for easy reference, as well as an article with an ebook and workbook entitled How to Discover Your Life Purpose with the Angel's Help. I want to tell you something. If you download that bonus ebook and workbook and perform the exercises first, the life purpose spread will not only be more meaningful to you, but will also provide you with more clarity and more often than not a confirmation from the angels that you're on the right track. And I don't know about you, but for me, confirmation is a good thing, right? Because it deepens your trust and confidence in your angelic helpers. So let's get down to it. Life Purpose Oracle Spread. This spread can be used with any tarot or oracle card deck that you're accustomed to using. And I say accustomed to using because you don't want to just flop some cards out there if you're not experienced using the cards. So use some cards that you are used to using that give you a good result. If you're new to tarot or the oracle card spreads, I would suggest that you kind of um, familiarize yourself with the cards before you do this spread and before you get started. Okay, so what are you going to need? Well, you're going to need a couple items before you start. Obviously, you're going to need a deck of tarot or oracle cards of your preference. You're going to need a journal or a notebook. And you're going to need a smooth writing pen or pencil. Now, when I say smooth writing pen or pencil, I mean just that, something that feels good in your hand and that moves quickly for you. Okay, so here are the directions. And I'm going to go through each step with you a little bit further on in the video, but I'm going to give you these quick and dirty, okay? Step number one, say an opening prayer or invocation to your angels and guides for assistance. Now, you know... Since I work, I'm an angel therapy practitioner, I work with my angels and my guides and receive information from them on a daily basis. So I say my opening prayer to God and and my angels. Now, when I do that, I am actually covering myself with love and light. And I'll do exactly, I'll show you exactly what I do when I get started in a little bit. But if that's not your thing, prayer is not the thing for everybody. If that's not your thing... Please shield yourself in some white light and keep yourself vibrating at a high level of love. That way you're not going to invite any any negative entities in um, that you know may kind of screw up your reading a little bit. Okay, step number two. Obviously, you need to shuffle your cards as you focus on the primary question. This is the primary question. Please provide me with greater clarity in regards to my life purpose. Step number three. What you're going to do is choose five cards from the deck laying them out in the order prescribed on the printable worksheet. Number four, step number four, you want to turn each card over one by one and answer each each question in order. Please don't skip ahead. Answer each of your questions in order. And then step number five, what you want to do is write your answers, observations, and intuitions to each question down in your notebook or journal. Now, let's do this together. I'll show you exactly how to do this. Okay, now I've listed the questions for each card on the printable, the PDF, but they're also on the corresponding written article that goes along with this video. So if you want to read the article, I've also included that in the description link for you to make it easier. Okay, so let's do this. Um, I'm going to show you my way so I have the steps as I give them to you. And we're going to get started, and I'm going to use myself. We'll use these questions, and we'll see where I am at in terms of my life purpose. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Step number one, I generally start off with prayers. So my angels, my guides, and the highest beings of light, I ask that you give me clarity and help me to 
um, really tune in, hone in to what my life purpose is. I ask that you will allow me to please clearly see, hear, feel, and know everything that I need to know um, concerning my life purpose and how I can better move into it. And I just thank you for covering me with love and light. And so it is. It is done. It is done. It is done. Amen. Okay, so I start off with prayer. That's the first thing I do. Second thing, you want to shuffle your deck. So I'm doing that right now. And everyone has a certain way of shuffling their cards. You shuffle the deck the way that you are taught. And by the way, shuffling your deck, there's really no wrong or right way to do so. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start pulling some cards here, and I'm going to lay them down for you. Okay, here we go. Now you see I have all five cards laid out in the deck. And the first card I turned over. You can see, um, and once again, I'm using the Archangel Power Tarot deck because that's the one that resonates really well with me, and I've been using it for a while, and I just love it. Um, the first card that I, I turn over is um, says Peace, and it has Archangel Azrael in it. Now, one thing for me, I've been reading for many, many years now, and I was taught to read the cards um, intuitively, not so much by what the card description means. So I look at each card and I just listen to what my angelic helpers tell me about the card. So um, I'm going to look at this. The first question for this card, this is in this card number one, it is, um, where am I currently at in terms of my life purpose? So as I look down onto this card... Um, I see um, Archangel Azrael, and by the way, I'm a psychic medium, and I work very closely with Archangel Azrael, who many times is also referred to as the Angel of Death. So um, where I'm at right now, it's totally on point for me, because where I'm at right now, I'm a professional psychic medium, angel intuitive, and I am, you know calling upon the angels and God to help me help other people accelerate their life path. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, and number one, so what I would do, I would actually get my, my piece of paper or my journal and I'd write out the answer to this question. Now, the reason you want to answer or write out your questions and answer them is because sometimes, especially with your intuition, your mind has the ability to loop around. So writing it down does several things. Number one, it tells your subconscious mind that you're absolutely serious about this information. And number two, it crystallizes it down. So you have a form of reference for later. Um, and number three is that you need to learn to trust what comes through. And when you hear it and you write it, or when you see the information and you write it, or you feel it, you write it down. Um, it's, it's allowing yourself to, um, get in the swing and flow of your intuition. And it just adds a lot of, um, trust, um, not only with your guides and your angels, but also of yourself. You're trusting what's coming through. Doreen Virtue, my mentor and teacher, has what she calls a blah technique. So basically just bl blurt it out, you know, blurt out whatever you, you, you're you hearing, feeling, seeing, or knowing. You just write it down on that piece of paper. Spill it, baby. Okay, so that's the card number one. Now, the card number two um, that's in here, I'm flipping it over now. And the question for this card is, where am I inspiring to be in terms of my life purpose? So I look down at this card. The card is the Ace of Michael. And on the card, I see Archangel Michael on top of a hill with his sword raised in victory. He's on top of a world. It's pinnacle. He's on the peak. And he has a sword raised in victory. And for me, a sword is also a similar to a writing utensil. You know, the, the sword is my pen. And so for me, um, this is direct correlation of where I'd like to be because, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm interested in sharing a lot of material and doing writing, um, becoming an author of a lot of different books. And I obviously want it to be successful. I mean, why, you know, be an author and not want to be successful? So that's where I'm aspiring to be. So this kind of uh, hits it right, once again right on point, which you'll find that these cards really do for you. You know, I don't, like I said, I don't always go by what's exactly on the card, but sometimes something on the card might pop out at me. So uh, it says on here, a wonderful new idea. So yeah, that's another thing. You know, I want to present my ideas to 
to my tribe in a way that's uh, clear and easy for them to understand and implement because I want people to be able to become very close and intimate with their angels and their guides and to actually use them and live their life intuitively because it makes your life such an easier and, and happier place to be. Okay, so that was my card um, number two. Now we're going to the card number three, so I'm turning that over. And the question for card number three is, what do I have to bring to the cosmic table? In other words, what, what kind of skills or talents or abilities do I have that I can share with the world? You know, not only the, the global world, but what I call the cosmic pool of consciousness. You know, the cosmic pool of consciousness is, is spirituality. You know, it's coming out in that way. So what, what of these, thing, these things do I have to share with other people? So I'm looking down at this card. This card speaks volumes to me because... In the card, there's a man flying a kite, and there's an owl flying by him. And if you look at the the card in the background, I see in the sky, the storm is clearing. There's clear vista through there. And for me, I'm here to provide clarity to people who want to learn and grow, not only um, psychically and develop their intuitive skills, but also to learn and grow and get closer to their angels and their guides. So I'm here to provide clarity. Another thing, I do have a lot of ideas on how to share this with people and on different topics on how they can expand their intuition and become more intimate with God and their angels. The other thing, I see the wise owl floating in here. I have a lot of innate wisdom that's been given to me through my peeps, through my angels and my guides. So for me, this is... A valuable card it has a, some valuable information of what I have to share um, or bring to the table, not only with my skills and abilities, but also to expand the cosmic pool of consciousness. Now, obviously, I'm, I'm going through these rather quickly because this is a, a quick uh, tutorial, but you want to spend some time answering these cards in your journal, you know, kind of communing and mulling them over. And um, even if you have to come back to the cards later and relook at what you have, but don't second guess yourself. Generally, it's the first things that pop up for you is, or what the angels and the guides are trying to get your intention with, right? Okay, so now we're on to the fourth card. So I'm flipping it over. And the question for the fourth card is, What's blocking me from stepping into my life purpose? You know, oftentimes it's the small little things in life, the attitudes or belief systems that we have that blocks us from receiving our good. So this card is going to help us pinpoint exactly what those blocks are and perhaps even give us some ideas and what we need to do to overcome those blocks. So this card here is, um, it says the King of Raphael. And on the card... There is a king. It looks like Neptune. He's sitting on a rock inside the uh, in the ocean in some surf. And there's fish and abundant uh, sea life all around him. And behind him is Archangel Raphael kind of overlooking and shielding this man. Okay, now, when I'm looking at this card, this is a time where I will actually, because it, it popped out at me, read the description on the card. And it says here, it's safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once um, means that, meaning that you have it. And then it says, follow your creative passions. Now, right here, I totally, I mean, the angels are telling on me. Um, one of the things, even following my intuition, sometimes I find it hard to trust, to take that step that's necessary. So what's blocking me is from stepping out in faith. Also, one thing that they're telling me, because sometimes, like like many people do, I, I tend to not want to start one project until I'm done with another. And what they're saying, hey, you have the ability to accomplish more than one task at the same time. So basically, they're telling me, um, giving me a hint, hey, you know, learn to multitask with the work that you're doing, because if you do so, you can get more done. And then the other thing here is to follow your creative passions. Now, for me, um, and I've been doing this uh, a lot more lately, and perhaps this happens to you too, you'll, you'll be just doing something, all of a sudden you'll have a creative inspiration. So what I started doing is uh, keeping a little notebook by me to where I can just write that creative inspiration down whenever it occurs so I don't lose it. Because I know you know as well as I do, sometimes you'll get this creative inspiration, and if you don't write it down, it's gone. I mean, it is gone. And those inspirations sometimes are very timely and need to be acted upon immediately. 
So those are some of my blocks that they're sharing with me and how to overcome. And finally, card number five is my final destination. And this card is, when you look at this card, it basically is showing you with all your your ducks in a row, with getting rid of all your blocks, what is your final destination as far as your life purpose? What would that look like? And I'm looking at this card. It's five of Michael. And a little bit, if I look at this card, if you remember how I shared, I shared with you, don't read what's on the card into it. And when I first look at the card, and I'll share what I mean by that in a minute here, but when I first look at the card, I see Archangel Michael standing on a big hill, and he has this big tube like a vacuum, and he's vacuuming away all this negative stuff, all this negative energy all around him, and he's making the area clearer and safer, and he's helping clear the way. He's showing a clear path, not only energetically, but also physically. On this particular card, if I decided to um, not intuit the meaning, I wanted to read the the card, the description at the bottom. It says, this situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. And if I read that, that would totally like, you know, kind of screw up the rest of my reading. So I know that's totally not the case. I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't read it that way. I read by what I'm intuiting on the card. Now, If this happens to you and you feel so inclined, what you can do is draw another card from the deck and just put it on top and it'll give you some clear information about what's going on. And if I did that, I don't have it in your pictures here, but I just drew what's called the wheel. The wheel is a card where it's a card of good fortune to me. The wheel spins, it turns. Every time you turn the wheel, there's a different outcome. So here, for me, um, it's showing me, hey, you know, the final outcome, what you're doing, you're helping people become clear by helping them move, you know, remove all the negativity that's around them spiritually and physically, and you're giving them this wheel of opportunity so they can engage in their life more. And that's that's what I'm getting from from my peeps. So um, that's card number five. And then once you have all that together and you're able to mull over what you wrote, what you want to do is to turn that into a life purpose statement or what some people commonly call a mission statement. And so the way you do that is with this following question. My life purpose is to, and you fill in the blanks, and I do that by, and you fill in the blanks. So for me right now, my life purpose is to clear away the cobwebs and negativity that people have that are blocking them from moving forward in their life's path. And I do that by providing quality content and writing books and offering seminars and workshops that not only inspire them, but encourage them to get closer to their angels and guides and to embrace their life with passion. So I mean, that's something that you want to rework. You want to reword that till you get this zing inside your heart. It just zings. So you might be constantly, you know, kind of tweaking it and toying with it. But I promise you will know when you hit upon that exact statement for you, because your heart is going to light up with like love. I mean, you're going to have an inner ding. I'm not kidding. It's awesome. So this was a Life Purpose Oracle spread. I hope you enjoyed it. I truly hope that you download the free resources that are available to you and that you will experiment with this Oracle card spread and find your life purpose and passion and to create a life purpose or mission statement that really resonates with you. This is Dar Payment wishing you abundant blessings, love and light, and I'll see you at the next tutorial.